So hello and welcome. I hope that you guys have found this easily enough and I plan to offer some pretty valuable information I think for anyone who is concerned about aging gracefully. Uh, that involves so much but uh, we are definitely going to have um, a nice time chatting about what that what all that means. I'm going to share my screen so that we can um, begin the slideshow. Hopefully this will work for me. Is this? No, this one? This. There we go. All right. Um, so this is our topic, Aging Gracefully with Essential Oils. I hope that anyone who may have invited you um, uh, gave you um, a little bit of lowdown that this is more all-inclusive than specifically only essential oils. So I hope you won't get annoyed if I throw in some nutritional benefits and things like that in there um, and even including emotional stuff. I feel like it's a big, um, yeah, it's a bigger deal than most people give it credit for. Before we get started, you probably uh, don't know me yet. My name's Amanda Dumas. This is my awesome family. You see, I, have, I actually have five kiddos. My oldest one's not there. He's an electrician, he lives out. But there's my four kiddos and my husband. And um, I believe that when I began uh, my, my launch in life, I was not concerned at all about um, aging at all. And it's one of those things that you don't really consider until you probably read about until you get to be 40. And that's probably not the smartest thing, but that's how it was for me. Anyway, um, so why, why would someone who, um, who is, you know, young and has young kids and things like that be concerned with aging? Um, it all adds up. <laughs> you find there's so many things that play into aging. And um, yeah, and if we plan to be here for a really long time, especially in my case, if I feel like I have a mission or a purpose and that I'm um, doing what I'm supposed to be doing, I need to be able to uh, take my best advantage of, you know, of, of life. And um, part of what I feel like is, a, is kind of a big deal in this is the whole idea of um, putting my voting with my dollars and I want to not only get benefits that I need but I want I want the things that I need to be eco-friendly I want them to consider their global impact and so that's one of the huge reasons that I feel like doTERRA is a company I can really get behind um, when I look at their um, quality as well as the way that they uh, they have a co-impact sourcing model, and um, that creates a lot of unity and income for growers and, uh, you know, and distillers and the people who are just working in the fields and things like that, um, because it, it, it's, it's able to ensure that uh, not only are those plants grown in their indigenous environment, but um, doTERRA is working, you know, to help create coalitions and and um, and co-ops so that it provides extra training and tools and resources and it's in a much longer term relationship with those growers and that really makes it um, you know a sustainable model and I uh, I'm, I'm huge into the the global impact of what I purchase and what I use so also doTERRA has a um, charity that's called the Healing Hands Foundation um, if you end up watching any YouTubes about it, you're probably going to cry. It's really, really awesome. <laughs> but they do things, um, things like uh, clean water wells and um, building and revitalizing schools and clinics. Uh, they even offer medical equipment, which you wouldn't think that like at some, somebody who does things that are natural. But um, this is a really awesome company. And so they do. They do tons of um, surprising things like that. Um, they offer like education on hygiene and health in some of these other places and they even do like micro credit loans and things like that. So um, definitely doing its part and I, I really, really appreciate that. So how do we, how do we maintain health from the inside out? Um, I, uh, I feel like a lot of health begins not, not from the outside with what we put on, but so I wanted to go over a couple things that I think are important when we look at 
um, non-topical skin health factors. So I threw in a couple of things here. If you guys are following along, um, stress level, I'm sure you guys, um, you know, lack of sleep, uh, relationship issues, living with pain, adrenals, not really taking time to recover. Um, it actually really does impact skin health. And um, even just yesterday, I was talking to a friend of mine. She can, she says she can always tell when her husband um, has stayed up late and just like jumped into bed before she wakes up. Because when he does get up, even if he's trying to be all peppy and stuff like that, um, he says you can see in his skin. It's just, it's just loaded down. It's darker. It's paler. It's you know, it's just not, uh, not good. Toxicity, um, that definitely impacts um, how our skin um, responds. And so because there are uh, several, there's only a couple ways that our bodies have to excrete toxins. And um, one of those is the skin. Um, so it's very reasonable that if you have a lot of um, chemicals in your life, that it's, um, yeah, very likely going to be impacting your, um, uh, your appearance. Uh, processed food. Oh, I could I could really get on the bandwagon with this, but the basic idea about sugar and franken foods, um, they do alter DNA, and you do have to kind of recognize that it's it's going to create problems if these are um, very common to have uh, in your diet. Hydration. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's crazy if you guys start drinking the proper amount of. Um, of water in a day, which by the way, um, essential oils are really, really easy way to just put an extra drop and uh, it adds to hydration because of the way it, um, as a lipid, the essential oil is able to open up your cells and allow hydration to happen better. Um, and uh, that's, that's going to, like, so if you're yeah, you're going to rehydrate faster if you're drinking um, water with uh, a high, high quality essential oil, which we'll actually talk about in just a second. You do not want to use just any essential oil in your water. Many of them are not made to ingest. Um, in fact, I would say, you know, none but doTERRA really is, is how I feel about it. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, okay, so mineral levels. Um, if you're, you know, concerned about these, you uh, extra cell growths or um, things like that, that you, you see, you know, around your skin. Um, there, there is, um, there is help that can be found with proper mineral levels, calcium and magnesium uh, to help that vitamin D regulation. Um, also healthy fats, that's going to keep our, your skin looking really awesome. But there are some vitamins that are not processable in our body unless we have those healthy fats. So um, a low fat diet for a long term is not going to be a good idea if you're worried about aging. Um, gut flora would be the last thing I would have to mention there because um, there is, uh, you know, as, as your stomach um, pH balance and, and like the good bacteria and things like that, um, as it fluctuates, that's going to actually cause um, uh, big differences in um, really how everything in your body goes, including serotonin levels and, you know, it enhances your mood. Um, yes, yeah, so a big, big deal for that. So, um, so what are we to do uh, to be able to help those things? I have to toss out my personal opinion, which is the Lifelong Vitality Supplements. Um, uh, to me, they are foundational in um, keeping overall health, including this simple skin. I have to put a shout out for the PB Assist, that's uh, PB for probiotic. Um, really, uh, uh, I actually didn't bring them in with me, but it's so interesting, the cute little double capsule that they have there. The, the prebiotic is in that outside capsule, and then the inside green portion is, um, is in um, chlorella, and the good guys that are inside really have such a, a better fighting chance to be able to, to get and colonize that gut. Um, like we were just talking about, that gut flora being a big, big deal for aging. Um, have to give another shout out for Terrazyme. Um, I would say that this has actually kept um, certain people that I know, including someone in my family, 
um, from hospital visits because it's uh, really aided in being able to break down food. And um, uh, as we age, we actually don't produce as many natural enzymes that we should have. And um, so uh, supplementing with the terrazyme is such a really good way. And then I have to also give one extra point here for the um, Yarrow Palm Cellular Beauty Complex. Um, really surprising me already with my own results, but um, the, the ingredients for that and being able to take those things um, from the inside. Of course, it has like the zinc and the vitamin C and things like that that we've always heard are so good for us, but then it also includes the um, internally safe, um, you know, Melissa oils and um, Gero palm and uh, so many other beautiful frankincense, of course, is in there. Papayiba is in there. Um, really, really great. I'm going to um, pop over for just, oops. Oh, I hope I didn't lose it. I may have lost it. I thought I was doing so good. All right. Um, I'm going to see really fast if I can get over here. I don't want to take too much time, but let's see if I can do this for a second and bring up this picture. Um, okay, I don't know if this is going to be as helpful as I wanted it to be, but we'll see here. Okay, so the uh, doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Bottles, I just felt like I wanted to show you guys that um, if you already have your doTERRA account and you're ordering, you know, like regularly, um, this is a deal that's available for you to get extra savings and a lot of people don't know about it and so you're going to definitely want to be working with somebody who's going to give you the clue in about these kinds of things um so if um if that can be me i hope you'll let me know um if it's somebody else who's invited you to this webinar um you know just get back with them i'm sure they have the support that um to offer you as well so you'll notice here that the uh, wholesale um, price is $80 and when you click to add the oh actually this has already been clicked out the pack so you can choose up to three of the following so that PB assist that I mentioned is a probiotic and a terrazyme I feel like are really key for gut health but I had to point out also here there's um, deep blue and the mito 2 max this one's for energy this is for pain the polyphenol complex has curcumin and frankincense resin and all sorts of really awesome things notice that when you um, when you get them in this form of like adding them to the lifelong vitality, their price goes way down. Can you see this one here? The deep blue polyphenol complex normally is $59.50, but um, when you're buying it together with a lifelong vitality pack, you are doing it only $20. So it's a $40 discount. That's that's craziness, right? Um, so most of the other ones here are like $34.50, $37.50, $39.50, but you're, uh, it's only paying $20 because because, um, because you're getting it with a lifelong vitality, you're buying them, you know, together. So wanted to point that out to you as um, a really awesome, um, yeah, tip. Okay, so here we are back. Um, so yes, yeah, so the lifelong vitality complex is amazing. I'm going to also um, talk to you guys just for a second about the idea of quality over quantity. Um, the whole idea that uh, when we look at things that are CPTG, that's certified pure therapeutic grade, um, uh, up to, uh, let's see what it is. There, there's a scale that I decided not to put in here because I didn't want to get way down with it, but now I'm referring to it anyway. Um, roughly 89% or something like that of uh, of the essential oils that are sold in the market today are totally synthetic, completely adulterated, like um, really not even safe to, to breathe in, uh, really. Uh, there is um, another small section, like another, um, say uh, six percent or something like that that is um, that is certified food grade that means there's no beneficial um, elements to them but they have been approved to be put into you know gums and candies as like wintergreen flavoring and that kind of thing so um, so some of those are considered um, safe for flavor but they do not carry any um, uh, any beneficial factors. So the next grade up 
is, um, is called therapeutic grade. And those are the ones that you might buy from Whole Foods or, um, you know, uh, at one of the like local health stores or something like that, or maybe off the internet. And it'll say that it's a good quality and say that it's pure and things like that. Um, and they may indeed, um, you know, show some sort of benefits. Uh, but to, for an oil to be CPTG, certified pure therapeutic grade, it has to be um, carefully extracted from the plants in their indigenous environment and free from fillers or artificial ingredients. Um, it not only does it not contain contaminants, pesticides, or chemical residues, but it actually um, has to go through cross testing um, with mass spectrometry and grass chromatography to ensure that it's the exact purity and composition and potency. Um, the reason I want to mention this is because doTERRA is the, the only company that is kind of going up, um, I don't want to say against, it's, because we're, it's not like a fight, but the idea that essential oils can be um, uh, so pure and so potent and that they're able to be used in a uh, medical setting as complementary care. Um, and this has become amazing um, because their doTERRA has partnered with a brand new uh, cancer treatment center and they're, they're building a separate wing where they'll be able to do clinical trials. And um, so this is called St. Elizabeth's. You guys can Google it. St. Elizabeth's Cancer Treatment Center. And um, doTERRA is the only company that is, is going through the efforts to be able to kind of be, you know, proven this whole idea of quality and pursuing purity because um, they know they are effective enough um, when, when they are properly tested this, this method with a CPTG. So definitely, um, if you are concerned about aging, you're going to want to keep connected with doTERRA and be able to use these oils um, for lifelong because, you know, if they're using it for cancer treatment things, then, you know, it's going to be good enough for you, right? Okay, so how do we actually use some of these um, essential oils? Um, certainly you guys have heard about the whole topical thing and um, most people are, are able to kind of, um, you know, envision putting on a lotion that you put some extra essential oil in or um, even just like putting it on your hands and breathing it in. So when it's applied to your skin, it only takes 20 seconds for it to enter your bloodstream. And by 20 minutes later, the oil's actually been distributed throughout your body and is nourishing on your cells. So um, it's, it's really great to, you know, to mix these into things that you're going to be applying because the awesome thing is when you put on topically, you also get other benefits besides um, just, you know, your skin health. Uh, it can definitely impact our emotions um, and impact, you know, how, how our cells are regenerating, things like that. Um, so aromatically, of course, you know, you've, you've seen the diffusers, those little puffy things, but even as simple as just um, uh, putting a drop of oil in your hand and just you know, breathing it in from your palms is another uh, easy way that you can um, use that. And of course, there's you no know, sprays that you can do around the room and whatnot. Um, now, I would say, and I mentioned before about internally, doTERRA is the only brand of oil that I would trust to use internally. Um, and because, uh, because so many essential oils, the, the purity varies so much, um, if you're not sure, don't assume that it's safe. Um, it should be clearly labeled. I'm actually gonna um, go ahead and show you guys the, this one here will focus for me. Can I get to focus? There it goes. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Oh. All right. Well, I shouldn't struggle with it and waste the time, but it says <laughs> for internal use, dilute one drop in four fluid ounces of liquid. And you'll see there, it also has the supplemental facts. You guys might be able to read that. I don't know if I can get to do this. Okay, it's not, it's just not being super easy, but anyway, so the supplemental facts because it is uh, tested to be that quality and um, you'll, you'll want to check that before you do any of your ingesting or um, use some of those things um, in your water or whatever. 
Okay, um, sharing again. All right, so um, you guys know that our largest organ is the skin, right? Everyone's kind of uh, mentioned that um, probably to you before. Um, so what are some good essential oils to put on our skin if we're going to be soaking it all up through there um, with our being our largest organ i'm going to mention a couple of the big all stars <laughs> so lavender has to be mentioned i'm sure everybody has heard of this one before um, it is actually really good for dark spots so as we go through this specifically part of my uh the reason i wanted to include this information was um at the end of our time together when I when I do my group um, uh, continuing education classes I always have a DIY I'm such a big DIY person I love when people get to actually play with oils and get to go away with something that they made feeling all proud and having like something in hand to use it just delights me so um, if you are around in Orlando, the first Thursday of every month, <laughs> uh, or any month actually, um, I hope that you'll um, join the fun um, at my home. And this particular last, the first Thursday of the month was um, aging gracefully with essential oils. And so this here is the webinar version that happens on the second Saturday. So uh, if you were here, you would be able to choose very specifically which oils would be the best for you to put in this serum, which I will share the recipe at the end. It won't be nearly as fun as being able to make it yourself, but um, these would be good if you are concerned with some of these things to just keep an ear out for, oh goodness, you have dark spots. I was wondering about that. Or, oh yeah, I feel like I have a lot of fine lines or, oh, broken capillaries. What's that all about? Okay, so as we go through, you guys might want to listen up for some of those if those are some of your um, of your issues that you'd like to uh, make something for okay so lavender is good for the fine lines and the broken capillaries and the combination skin means some dry spots and some uh, oily areas melaleuca i would say is most often used for um, people who have the kind of skin that's still kind of having some blemishes like the acne and whatnot. Um, but it is also known for the tightening and purifying. Um, I would say, especially due to its smell, if you're wanting a luxurious kind of serum, Melaleuca might not be one that you want to add in there. But for those of you who are aging and still feel like you still come up with little bits of, you know, um, acne here and there, uh, Meloka could be good to just add a, a drop or two in. Frankincense is going to reduce the appearance of skin imperfections. And um, it is actually really good uh, for oily skin. So if that happens to be one of your things, then frankincense might be one you want to add a little bit more of. You guys have probably already heard about frankincense being one of the more expensive oils. Um, you know, with, with your doTERRA account, it, uh, it costs $69.75 for a 15 ml bottle. So that is, you know, like kind of expensive. But when you're considering only using, um, you know, a, a few drops at a time for the entire thing with a face serum, it definitely has a high impact because it is everything healing and renewing. Um, it's very, very highly, um, highly effective, even with um, a small amount of use. So um, I have to mention grapefruit, bergamot, lemon, really any of the citrus oils, honestly, uh, they're also known for their purifying and cleansing properties. They also, um, I mean, people consider them a brightener. And so if, uh, if you feel like your skin doesn't have a lot of the bright quality, um, you might want to add a little bit of, of that citrus oil in. I would um, throw out the idea to that um, we don't want to use a lot of citruses if we're about to go out in the sunshine. If you're going to make a um, a lotion like that's for for skin um, uh, for what you call it um, for sunbathing, you would not add any citrus ones because it, it is they are photosensitive and they can cause extra discomfort. We're using for here this recipe is for a face serum that we'll mostly use at night anyway. Um, but just in case you get some ideas to use these for other things during the day, don't add citrus if you're going to be um, out at the beach or something.
Okay, so geranium, I have to say this is one of the biggies that I would consider similar to lavender and frankincense. Another biggie is geranium. Um, it's very well known for those broken capillaries again, so those little red veiny kind of things, um, redness in general, and then just, you know, aging and tightening, you just kind of all those kinds of things are really helped with the lavender and geranium oh, and frankincense. I think those are probably the, the biggest ones. Cedarwood, I do have to say, I, it's, it really is overall skin appearance, plus the fact that it's very woody. Sometimes if you're making a serum um, and you kind of want to balance out some of the florals, cedar wood is, is a, a little bit more of a grounding woody kind of oil, and so it is really great. Um, and uh, it is well known for dry skin, so that could be something if that's what you struggle with. Blue tansy, I had to go ahead and put in a couple things here too, not only about the, the aroma that helps lift your mood, but um, uh, I have noticed recently that many of the, um, uh, what you call this, like the clinic and the, you know, like the beauty counter kind of quality of, um, what do you want to call them? Mm, the name of that. Um, face serums and lotions and, and things like that, blue tansy is becoming a big deal. And so they don't even have the certified pure therapeutic grade quality ones. So imagine how much even just a few drops of blue tansy would be in you know your own face serum. So definitely consider you know adding a little bit of that one to yours. Um, other great choices that I have to point out, I'm, I'm going to have to say the helichrysum, especially because it's so good for um, scarring. So with helichrysum, it's just, yeah, he healing chrysum is what some people call it because it's um, that good. Um, shout out to Ylang Ylang. This one is also very restorative. I definitely put it in the same category as the geranium and lavender um, in that it's well known for just, you know, restoration. Plus, it's also really great for um, mood enhancement. It's really good, you know, to help with anxiety and things like that. Um, I have to also shout out to Roman Chamomile. If you are, uh, if you're currently a doTERRA member and you're making an order here in the month of October, you're going to want to double up. I did. I doubled up on my Roman Chamomile because um, it happens to be 20% off this month only. And um, because it's one of the more expensive oils, it's actually at $45 for a 5 ml. That's the, the smaller bottle. Um, but the cool thing about that is uh, with the 20% off, it's only $35. So um, get, get some good rum and chamomile. Um, so, so many good healing skin things come from chamomile. Um, juniper berry um, is fairly good. I think of it as an astringent kind of a thing, similar to melaleuca. So it's another good one if you're looking for some of the tightening or um, being able to kind of yeah, level out some of the acne or things like that. The last two I have to tell you are like big deal to me. So um, Yarrow Palm, which you guys already saw, was um, something that I mentioned for the internal use. They have the cellular um, regeneration capsules and those um, those are fantastic, um, but you can also use this topically on your face, and it's so, I, like, I think of it as a serum in and of itself, but so definitely if you're making your own serum, you're probably going to want some Yarrow Palm there as well. Copaiba, I saved for last because this particular month in October, um, getting started or just making your order if you already have your own account, anything um, over 200 PV, um, which basically equates to $200 worth, more or less, is um, it's going to get you a free bottle of Copaiba. And that's a 15 ml bottle, but you also get some of the soft gels, which are super easy to take internally, and um, a 5 ml bottle of yellow mandarin. And so what does Copaiba do for skin, though? So if we are looking at redness or any kind of... Um, 
uh, irritation that causes discomfort, then copaiba is going to be your friend. Now, neurologically speaking, this is very enhancing and it's great for all sorts of discomfort in your body, um, you know, aches and things like that. But when we're saying for skin use, uh, same thing, it's going to bring down all of that redness and the soreness and things like that. So um, I do put copaiba in many of my um, uh, skin things. Okay, um, moving on quickly, I'm going to also do a shout out for um, for doTERRA's skincare um, line that they have that's called, oh, I'm terrible, I just forgot what it's called. Um, uh, essential, no, it's, why can't I think of it? <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I'm, I'll tell you what it is at the end. <laughs> How about that? Like, it's all come to me. Um, so a couple of things that are really awesome about it is uh, the, the facial cleanser. I call it some sort of system. So um, I want to mention, point out that melaleuca and peppermint are the oils that are in the facial cleanser. Um, so because, you know, those ones are really great for purifying and, uh, and cleansing. Um, then they have the toner comes next, and this one at first I was not super into, but when I started using it, I definitely feel like it's very balancing for my skin. Um, I was surprised that it's, it actually feels like it increases my hydration, and the thing that I really noticed too is that um, all the enlarged pores that I seem to get personally around my nose get visibly um, smaller, so I love that. Um, so lavender, ylang ylang, and uh, German chamomile are the ones that are in there. Of course, there's um, uh, ylang ylang it has a really great balancing with the pH kind of a thing. Uh, there's also a tightening serum that comes with it, and that's really, really awesome as well. Um, you're also, like that one has frankincense, Hawaiian sandalwood. Sandalwood, I think I forgot to mention, is really good at firming and improving the tone uh, of aging skin. Um, myrrh is also one of the ingredients in that because it soothes and heals dry skin. They have an anti-aging moisturizer um, with geranium and jasmine and lavender and frankincense. Um, so those ones are really, really awesome. And uh, what, what makes it extra great is the whole essential skincare. That's what it is, the essential skincare collection. Um, also, um, you know, is uh, similar to the other one in that it's, it's able to uh, to reduce the price. I actually meant to show you guys. Can I find it? Um, oops. Nope, that's not it. Let me. Oh, man. Maybe I can't find it. <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't get that one. Or did I put it later? I don't know. Okay. Uh, that one also has something where you can add in extra um, uh, if you're going to be getting a kit, you can add in extra ones at a reduced cost. I would just find it for you, but I'm running short on time, so I'm uh, maybe I can at the end or something like that. Um, all right, so if you don't have time for the whole new routine, which, you know, includes like five steps, um, I have to point out Emartel. This one is pretty awesome because um, they have... They have it already in a handy dandy bottle and the Immortel and they call it the anti-aging blend. Oh, look at focused. Oh, I love when it does that. Okay, so you're gonna see here, it's got the frankincense, um, Hawaiian sandalwood, myrrh, lavender, helichrysum, rose. I think I might miss one in there, but anyway, you'll notice that there isn't any fractionated coconut oil in there. doTERRA um, is, it puts this one in a roller knowing that you're going to be using it on skin, but it is not currently diluted. I point that out to you because <laughs> it's really strong. Like if you are using this, um, well, okay, so I did already tell you guys that doTERRA is working together with the St. Elizabeth Cancer Institute. So um, if you had any big skin issues that would cause you to need to go there, this would be a really good thing in its fully undiluted form. But for most of us, 
it's, it's so strong. Like it almost makes you cry. Like it's that strong. So I always, um, take extra empty roller bottles and make this into three. So I'll take out one third, one third, and leave a third. And these all become like diluted one third strength because they're so strong. Um, but then I feel free to, you know, keep one in my office. And if I'm thinking about something and just kind of massage and stuff in, um, I keep one by my bed and I uh, keep one in the bathroom for if I actually like see spots. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, like um, it definitely reduces um, redness and puffiness. Um, so this is a great one to, to use around the eyes and things like that. Oh, I just noticed that I actually had oh, skin essentials. Yes. And thank you also um, for the idea of Virage. And that is a second really awesome, um, 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 what's the name? Skincare system besides the one that, um, that I mentioned, which was the, um, the essential skincare one. So um, I'm going to go back for a second and talk about, let's see, about the Immortel. Um, it's well known for not only increasing your glow, which by the way, we are going to have a really cool recipe for that as well, um, reducing fine lines and um, uh, hydrating your skin and having more, uh, more beautiful skin complexion. But um, let me go ahead and tell you guys about another fun glow. Oh, wait. Where am I? Oh, I think I have to share my screen before I get there, don't I? Or, oh, where am I going? Oh. Okay, now I got it, guys. All right, so glow stick. This one was, um, this has been all over the internet, you guys. Everybody's talking about the, again, the blue tansy being such a big deal. Um, but also that how we mentioned that the copaiba and the frankincense are great for inflammation of any sort. I haven't done it. So um, this is so great. You'll notice it's only five drops of each. So this is not expensive when you're looking at making a 10 ml roller, which is about the same size as the Immortel roller. Um, it's a very small one, but it is so um, obviously effective <laughs> when you start using it on a regular basis. Um, it really, really makes a huge difference. It does come out a little blue, so you do sit there and be like, this is going to rub in, right? Because the blue tansy has such a dark, dark blue um, color to it. But the one that I really love, that I feel like you guys really have to know about, this is the, the lovely face serum um, that we made. Uh, so I, uh, if you are able to get together the vegetable glycerin and the aloe vera and the jojoba oil, I'm going to tell you just real quick about these. Vegetable glycerin is known as being super good for um, softening skin and also adding some hydration. Um, I'm going to totally be honest and say that it does add a little bit of a stickiness, um, just slight, slight like tacky, I guess, kind of a thing uh, for this serum. And so um, I would recommend this serum be put on um, at night, not, um, not like try to put your makeup on on top of it kind of a thing. Um, but so, so good. The aloe vera is fantastic to, um, to hydrate and um, get some of that, you know, redness out. So those two are kind of a little bit more on the water side of things. And then you'll see on the next ingredients, the jojoba oil, the vitamin E and the rosehip oil. Those three are very, um, well, they're totally oils. <laughs> so when you make this combination, it is going to um, separate a little bit. And so you'll want to be able to um, shake it. Uh, so if you're adding these things into your, um, let me click over and stop the share here for a second. So if you're adding these things into your um, your face serum bottle, uh, you'll you'll do those little amounts of the stuff, and then uh, you'll leave it about halfway full. At that point, you're going to choose the 12 to 15 drops, and so that's when you guys will go back to the idea of the the frankincense, the cedar wood, the lavender, and you'll choose like, okay, I need some of that, I need some of that, a drop of blue tansy. You're going to put those you know 12-ish um, drops in there, maybe 15 if you really have like something you're really trying to treat. Um, and then after that, 
and you'll kind of like top it off with either more jojoba oil or maybe some grapeseed oil or something like that. Um, I know it, you, you are going to see, I don't know if we can actually see it here. Oh, it doesn't really show up in the light, but um, so there is some separation uh, that happens. So you're gonna wanna give a little shake um, before you're gonna start using it. And I like to just add a little bit onto my um, my hands and, and do like a gentle massage into the neck and face. So hopefully you guys will make it to the next um, um, continuing education uh, class if you guys are nearby. Um, do reach out to connect either through email. It's enamoredwithnature at gmail.com if you have questions about what you just heard or need some extra information. Um, and then the other thing is um, you can also connect through Facebook. There is a public Facebook group that I do that's called enamored with the nature oil education. I know it seems super long, <laughs> but enamored with nature oil education. And when I save this as a YouTube, um, I will put that link in the, um, in the description so you can find it a little bit easier. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you feel like you learned something about aging with essential oils, and I hope you feel like you have the support that you need to be able to carry on uh, gracefully uh, as we go. All right, have a good night, guys. Bye. <laughs>